Thomas, two good tests this week against Arsenal and Watford. What have you made of them? Um, yeah, two good tests against two uh, Premier League sides. It was very important for us to, of course, get match minutes into as many as possible, uh, but also to um, to get up to tempo, get up to speed. I think against Arsenal, I think. Um, a very good defensive bit uh, for, throughout the game against a team that um, is very good on the ball and um, we only need to defend well. Um, that of course second half we scored some beautiful goals. Um, I think this game uh, was good in many many ways. It was very good to, to play some of the guys for 90 and, and get get a lot of minutes into them. Uh, first half, in general, a very even game. Um, first half, I thought we should have moved the ball quicker. Um, jump the player and you just get you know better touches and stuff like that, a little bit better decisions made because the position was there getting closer um, to the pressure uh, before we played uh, and the pressure um, intensity was not I think good enough and quick enough and we talked about that for the half time and um, second half I'm much more pleased with um, we got higher pressed with much better intensity the organization uh, was good and on the ball I think we got in, in better and better situation we create some chances so so second half is is uh, the stand that we need to to aim for um, every single time. And there's been no, you say you played two Premier League sides, but there's been no, it hasn't looked to be that much of a difference between what, what Brentford played and, and those two sides in these two games. Um, no, of course we always know it's a little bit different between a friendly and, um, and, a, and a real Premier League game. Um, but I agree. You also need to look at the quality and the, um, and the structure and the organisation of the two teams. And, uh, and I think we've been looking good. Uh, and I'm I'm pleased with um, with the way we've been looking uh, in both games. In many ways, there's always bit I want to do better. And I think now it's about that speed, tempo, and um, and sharpness, especially on the last third uh, or the final third. I could see that today. Mm, that extra touch or that. One less touch or a little bit more quality on the final pass. Um, that's the, that's the that's the bit we are aiming for because physically and yeah, the tens intensity and the pressure we could keep going in, in the in the end of the game was good. And nice as well that the, the three scorers on Wednesday were not you know, the, the, the regular kind of scorers. So this squad's going to be very important, and, and they've showed up. Yeah, yeah I agree. Uh, it was very good to see Halil, uh, Tariq, and um, and Chandon score uh, all th three good goals, and also to see some good performances. Also carrying on today, I'm uh, pleased with um, with Chandon and uh, Tariq when they came on the pitch again, and, and Amy as well. Uh, so so it was um, it was really good. And I say the, the the amount of players and the amount of games that are coming up, you know, you're going to need everyone in these next in these weeks. We, we, we going to need uh, everyone next week, 100%. Um, uh, everyone needs to be ready. Uh, first and foremost, of course, make sure we we have some good trainings um, with the right quality, intensity and, and tempo. Um, that, that's one thing, but also for the matches, because with five subs, 20-man uh, squad, uh, and a lot of games coming up, uh, there's no doubt that uh, people need to be, be available and ready for one minute, 10. 70 or 90. Sounds like you're quite happy with where the squad is ahead of, of this, this time next week. Yeah, 100%. If you look before the last game, before the Corona break, um, and then until now, 100% uh, now we have a, a fully fit squad um, and everybody is pushing each other. Um, and I know we have really good replacements, so, so I'm pleased.